Hello everyone and welcome to my new series. In this one I'll be rebuilding re re all uh, LEGO module buildings and uh, turning them into lovely Minecraft uh, creations. Here we have uh, LEGO Bank um, and I think it's uh, quite uh, obvious what is it uh, for people who really like uh, LEGO and have several uh, sets of it. On the right side we have uh, laundry, here we have a bench made out of uh, brown beds and uh, lamp. Um, here we have uh, little pens and washing machine to uh, make it obvious what is going on here. Second floor is uh, very lovely and uh, has lots of personality and detail to this building. Here we have a basket probably with uh, some gloves which are uh, pulling up. And uh, on the roof I used lots of anvils to make this cold border, some uh, skeleton skulls and uh, magnet with lots of bricks, deep slate against skulls and blast furnaces uh, for the columns. Um, here is oxidized copper and lots of quartz because this uh, white effect um, gives it a really cool look. Here we have panoramic windows and chimney. Okay, let's um, pop on into this laundry. Here are some washing machines, um, villager as a uh, manager probably, sea pickles, inner chests on to uh, give extra detail. Uh, magnets uh, create this cool uh, uh, spheres, so I use them as part of washing machine. I used uh, chimneys as doorknobs in pretty much uh, all um, my doors. Okay, here we have a front facade. Uh, here I have a little sculpture as extra detail and to give it uh, my personality. Uh, for windows, I used uh, prismarine, uh, some uh, glass panels, and oxidized copper. Here we have uh, sea lanterns and uh, deep slate. Uh, there we will uh, in the future uh, enjoy our view. And Let's go inside our bank. Here we have reception area and uh, very, very uh, tall ceilings. I tried to rebuild uh, this uh, Lego pattern on the floor. I think it's quite cool. Um, here we have um, another uh, cool uh, technique for floor and a um, little storage area for bank officers. Uh, now let's move to another part of it. Uh, here we have panoramic uh, window and vault, which I'll be showing you a little bit later on the end. Now let's go um, on second floor. Here we have uh, like little Apple computer, I'd say, uh, fireplace and uh, chimney itself, uh, coffee machine, which is built by using uh, brewing station, seed pickles, uh, and uh, other things and lovely painting on the back side. Um, by uh, sitting here you can uh, enjoy your view uh, and control everything. This is another room, um, second on this floor. Here we have another computer, some paintings on the walls and a uh, map of uh, bank. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, we have there um, uh, some different uh, wall textures, I think it's cool. Uh, view from here, I guarantee would be cool. Here, uh, big windows, again, deep slate and uh, uh, some glass panels. Uh, for the fence, I used uh, anvils. And uh, now let's go on the second floor. Like, let's start for a second and try a view uh, from upstairs to downstairs. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is the uh, roof. Um, not a lot going here, but for the roof I think it's enough. Here I used magnets, polished underside, deep slate, bricks and um, anvils, pretty much. That's all. Now let's go uh, see our vault, which I mentioned before. View from here is quite good. I love it. Um, Prismarine and Ox oxidized copper together are looking 
numerical. Um, for the world, I used uh, simple uh, piston frequency uh, designs on the YouTube, and uh, for the button, I uh, used T flip flop technique. Um, it opens uh, uh, relatively quick, and uh, here is golden nuggets, uh, as in banks, and some chests. It uh, looks very nice uh, from distance. We close it uh, as easily as we open it. And uh, now uh, let's uh, go outside and one more time enjoy our view. I think it all came together quite nicely. Create this lovely view. Best furnaces on the back, uh, on, on the uh, sides like columns. Cool. I used uh, very different. Uh, and interesting block combinations like calcite on the corner you can see. I think I uh, used all blocks that we have in game in 1.18. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to leave a like and support me for the future content.